This is Alan Bush with ADMIS with the financial futures forecast for Tuesday, June 9th. Over in the stock index futures, we are seeing prices a little bit lower. Still seems to be a bit of a pessimistic mood to some degree on ideas that the Fed could be raising interest rates later this year. So I think that is one of the main reasons why we are seeing a sideways lower price a series of uh, prices over the last uh, six weeks or so. However, longer term, we feel that the main trend is still higher. Also, and this is a minority view, that whenever the Fed does raise interest rates, whether it's this year or next year, there will be, of course, a, a temporary setback. But after the rate increase, we will see higher prices, including a new advance to new highs, uh, new historical highs, I believe, for the S&P and the Dow. So either way, the main trend is higher for stock index futures. Now, moving over into the foreign currencies, yesterday the dollar index came under a lot of pressure. This after reports that President Obama at the G7 meeting this last weekend indicated that dollar strength was a problem. So this was a, uh, quite a bit of a negative yesterday for the dollar index. Uh, also, there was a denial from the White House that these comments were actually made, and yet the dollar still was able to uh, basically close right near the lows yesterday. Some recovery today on rather limited news. Uh, we should have seen the dollar advance on reports that the situation between Greece and the IMF is not getting any better, in fact, there was a, a one comment that there were that Greece may have been backtracking. At least that was an accusation from uh, one of the eurozone leaders. So that should have been dollar bullish, and yet the dollar really not uh, holding up that well today. So that has to be viewed as a sign of weakness for the dollar. Longer term, we do believe the dollar index has topped. Uh, also seeing some pressure in the uh, British pound, even though we did have better than expected UK. Uh, trade deficit numbers in the Canadian dollar advancing with crude oil sharply higher this morning. We feel that the Canadian dollar is probably the best buy of all of the currencies, but I'd be patient and buy on 50 to 80 point breaks in the Canadian. And now moving over into the interest rate markets, we are beginning to see the very, very, very beginning indications that we are at the end of the global deflationary spiral and inflation is just starting to come back in, in a few areas. For example, the Eurozone, after being uh, four or five months in uh, a period of weakening com uh, commodity prices and, and uh, consumer prices, we're actually now seeing uh, positive inflation numbers at the last uh, report. So with inflation, I think, turning the corner, and I have to stress very, very slowly turning the corner, uh, this has to be viewed as somewhat of a negative on, on the long end of the curve for the 10 and 30 year ish, uh, issues. The short end, however, we think will continue to hold up. Uh, so look for the front to remain rather stable, maybe even advance, while the long end is likely to come under some additional pressure, and that would be the 30 uh, year and 10 year issues. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.